Okay, so I'm going to start off with direct substitution. I'm going to plug in this 4. I'm going to hope I don't get 0 over 0. Because if I don't get 0 over 0, then I'm very, very close to being finished. But if I plug in 4 here, this would be 64. Plug in 4 here, 64. So it looks like the numerator goes to 0. And the denominator goes to 0. So this is currently an indeterminate form. So I've got to rewrite this stuff. Got to be creative about how I rewrite this. So some questions we've seen are complex fractions. Sometimes it's a trig identity. Sometimes it's conjugates. Sometimes it's fractions. Basically anything algebra is fair game. But the most common type, the one that I would promise you would be at least one of these on your test because it is the most common type, is factoring. So in the numerator, you could take out a GCF of x squared. And in the denominator, you have the difference of two squares. So if you factor both the numerator and the denominator, now we've got something to cancel out, which is what oops, has to happen before you do direct substitution again. If something from the numerator doesn't cancel something from the denominator, it's still going to be 0 over 0. So you plug it into what's left, you get 16 on top, 4 plus 4 on bottom, and then that reduces to 2. Okay, is that enough for number 10? Anybody else that was going to ask about number 10 need to say anything?